Hello everyone, this is Janos Makula and thank you for joining me for another alt new video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful, almost one layer floral card using alt new stamps and inks. Here's a look at my practice piece. This really reminds me of a coloring book where you have the outlines printed in black and all you have to do is to come in and color them. I'm going to be using the gorgeous beautiful day stamp set and I'm going to create the entire stamped background you see here. It might look like a lot of work and it might look intimidating, but it really isn't. Because we're going to be making a one layer card with lots of stamping, we'll need to create masks for some of our images. I've already made a mask for the flower and now I'm creating another mask for the leaf. In case you are new to masking, there are several ways or rather several tools you can use to create masks. The most convenient one is to use masking paper. It's a nice, thin, sticky back paper that makes using a mask a very simple and easy task. If you don't have masking paper, you can use a sticky tape or post-it notes, and even if you don't have those, you can still create a mask using just plain old printer paper. This is what I'm doing here. The idea is to stamp the image you want to mask on your masking paper or printer paper and cut it out using scissors. I don't want any outlines around my images, so I'm cutting right up to the edges of this stamped image. Now, I'm not being very detailed about it. I don't want to spend too much time cutting this out, so I'm just cutting a general basic shape here. Once we have our masks ready, we can begin stamping. I've prepped a top folding card base created out of Nina Solar White cardstock, and I'm going to have a sheet of printer paper underneath it to protect my work surface. I used to use a no-stick craft mat, but it has a sleek surface, and if you get some ink onto that surface and your card base isn't taped down, the card base will move and will pick up some of that ink to, on the back side, and the back side of the card will get dirty. So using a sheet of printer paper is just a little easier in this case. Well, at least it's easier for me. I also have a black foam cushion underneath all of this. I use it when I need to do lots and lots of stamping and when some of that stamping covers a large area. This just helps me to get a better impression. This foam cushion that I have here is built into my scoreboard from Zutter, but there are also individual foam cushions like this one out there if you'd like to give it a try. But by all means, you don't really need one to stamp. You can do your stamping on a regular surface. I'm going to start by stamping the sentiment, or at least a part of a sentiment, the word friend from another stamp set from Alt New. I'm starting with a sentiment here because I want the background to be stamped around it. I want the flowers to frame the sentiment rather than have the sentiment on top of the stamped background. Next, I'm using the flower outline image and following my practice sheet and stamping the image onto my card base. I'm going to mask it and stamp the floral branch next to it. I'm not taping my mask here, I'm just placing it on top of the image. You can tape it if you like, and if you used masking paper, your mask will be sticky and you will be able to easily adhere it on top of your images. While I still have the mask here, I'm also stamping another leaf, masking that and going to stamp the second flower. I want to have three flowers in total on this card to stick to the visual triangle rule. I'm going to continue stamping the images from the beautiful day stamp set until I have my black outline background completed. I'm using Versafine Onyx Black ink for stamping these as it gives a very nice and rich black color. I should probably mention that this is a pigment ink and it sits on top of the paper and because of that it takes a bit longer to dry. It is a fast drying ink but it doesn't dry instantly, so I'm trying to be careful here not to smear my stamped images. After the black outline background is done, it's time to start coloring. This is what I really love Alt New stamps for. I don't have to be an artist to have beautiful colored images on my cards. I can just take their stamps and inks and have little gorgeous paintings on my projects. So I'm starting with the leaves and using two lighter colors of ink, the fried leaf and the forest glades, and notice that I'm keeping the masks in place while I'm doing my fake coloring. Next I'm going to color the flowers and I'm going with yellows and pinks here. I'm using buttercream, mango smoothie and warm sunshine for the yellow flower and also frosty pink, cotton candy and coral berry for the pink flowers. Not all images in this stamp set have matching images to color them with and it's okay. I do want some to remain black and white. I want the flowers and the leaves to catch all the attention on this project. When you start adding your layers to your flowers, it might look like nothing at first, but as you stamp the second and the third layers and start getting the shadows and highlights, your images really start to pop. 
And the best part, it takes much, much less time than real coloring. You can by all means stamp just the outlines and color them using your favorite coloring medium, but it's also nice to have this fake coloring option. So after my background is done, I'm going to work on one more piece for this project, one additional sentiment. I want to have this card say, friend, you make my heart bloom, hence the flowers in the background. I don't want to stamp the sentiment onto the card base, I want it heat embossed in white onto pink cardstock. To make sure my cardstock matches in color to the rest of the card, I'm using the cotton candy ink and an ink blending tool and just blending this ink onto a strip of white cardstock. I'm going to use my heat tool to dry the ink on this strip, then use my anti-static powder pouch to prep the surface for heat embossing. This will eliminate any static and any grease from my fingers. And then going to stamp the You Make My Heart Bloom using clear sticky ink. I'm adding white embossing powder on top and heat setting this with a heat tool. The rest is very simple. I'm going to foam mount this strip onto my card, trying to make sure I have it centered here, and also going to add a few clear sequins from Pretty Pink Posh to make this project sparkle. So this is it for today. Our almost one layer project is finished. The supplies they used to create this card are listed in the video description and in the blog post. If you like this video and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up and maybe share with a crafty friend who is also into stamping. Thanks so much, I'll see you next time, bye!